Well, what's happening here is um, this is one of the areas in Hereford where um, rough sleepers come, um, and I won't name the location um, because they get shifted on. And what they do is cardboard left out around town. They collect the cardboard. They make the areas comfortable. You'll see they've made it as soft back there as possible. There's some branches here. They'll use that as a cover later on, and they'll probably end up sleeping here for the night. So that'll probably be a sleeping place for one to two people tonight. And this has always become well known to the homeless community in Harryford, um, which there are more than will be declared by the council. And on, unfortunately, um, this is always going to be a place for another two to three people tonight. Um, on top of that, um, it has to be said that the homeless community are very actually close knit. And the reason there will be more people sleeping here is because they actually inform each other and they like to be together for the safety. Because local people do urinate on them, call their names and kick them. And this is the third area, John, within um, less than 200 feet um, on the same stretch of um, road. And um, effectively, it looks like this has become a proper haven for rough sleepers. Um, you know, local authorities will argue the fact that you know you don't know everyone's story, you don't know whether they're telling the truth. Um, the reality is it doesn't matter whether someone tells a story that isn't exactly accurate because you've got mental health problems or addiction. The fact of the matter is we've got homeless people in our community and that needs to be dealt with, not justifying, not doing anything because they did it to themselves because most of them haven't and those who have need help just the same. The job centre plus gives them the tent. Uh, they can yeah. put a tent here, but it's an illegal place to put a tent. So whenever they go off to the soup kitchen or breakfast club, then the cats come to take the tent away. Oh. And their belongings. That's really annoying. It's just really ridiculous. So someone's trying their best to make it good. That's why we were a bit like, is it a camping? Well, you could see because of these foil blanket yeah. things. They are coming here and using it on a regular basis, but now because their tent's been thrashed. Here's two ladies who have um, come out today, uh, Saturday the 13th of January 2018 and um, it, there's a bit of an initiative in town by, um, not an organisation, but a, a group of people who have formed together to actually do and help the people in this community who are homeless um, and sleeping rough at this time of year. Um, a lot of collection be done today and uh, these people are now coming around looking for our people who are homeless in Harry for today, but they seem to be slightly underground or aloof today. Um, but this is an area here where they clearly frequent. Um, this was a tent that has now been thrashed. Um, but they're going to just leave one or two bags here because we know someone will come back. They have made 30 bags. 30 really bags good. were donated by Mountain Warehouse. Uh, by the Freedom Church. Yeah. Oh, um, fantastic. And yeah. these baby bags have been handmade overnight, or 30 of them. Um, and the, the, the rolls go inside so they're not sleeping on the ground and it's just, they just get in, tie it up to the neck and obviously then they stay really warm and these are huge. That's brilliant. And inside the bags there's soups, there's Flasks. biscuits, there's flasks, socks. socks, gloves, hats, wipes, um, alka gel, medical packs, first aid kits, milk cartons, coffee, tea. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. This is Commercial Street in Harryford, literally run into the city centre, literally 50 metres from the city centre um, black and white house, and probably 100 metres from the police station. Uh, very prominent in the area, so it's always become uh, a known spot for rough sleepers, unfortunately. Um, I was made aware recently that um, a man actually died in, in the cemetery who was homeless um, approximately 10 years ago. Um, that was a little while before yeah. I moved to Harryford. However, if we look at this winter, and we've only just gone into this winter, um, a lot of people are dying from Hastings to Birmingham to London and Leeds and other places throughout the country. And we've got to ask ourselves the question, has society got to a place where how long will it be before we start having people dying in Hereford again? And how long will it be before people actually take action and, and actually get involved? And how long can people turn a blind eye to and pretend it doesn't exist?